Hi everyone, welcome back to Farthest Frontier. Today I've got something special for you. It's a very tough challenge. For those of you who have seen my Ultimate Decline series, you probably know what is coming. For the rest, let me explain. So, we have a town here and the town used to be quite healthy. Everything was working, it had a very robust uh, supply chain and almost thousand population. However, at some point, it was precisely year 200, I stopped playing the game. So I was wondering uh, how long would the town survive if there was no user input whatsoever. So the town actually did quite well. Uh, it survived for 16 years of game time, which is roughly four to five hours of uh, real time. Uh, so not really bad. Uh, I started playing on an older version, 0 0.81 or 0 0.82, something like that. So there weren't so some mechanics that would help with that challenge weren't available. Uh, I think uh, uh, with the latest version, the town would survive much, much longer. Uh, for example, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it in a moment. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, there is a lack of wood. Uh, logs in the town and it's mainly caused by uh, work areas having uh, no trees uh, or work camps having no tree trees in uh, the work areas so uh, with the latest version uh, there is actually an option to upgrade work camps and then you can automatically plant trees and then cut them down so it pretty much becomes um, maintenance free uh, you have uh, full log uh, production but this wasn't available at the moment or at that at the time so uh, I ran out of logs and uh, the whole supply chain collapsed because of that uh, the town defenses are also compromised. We had multiple uh, armies and uh, raiders uh, and they eventually managed to get in and uh, they did some damage. There is a lot of buildings that, that are destroyed. Uh, and the, the population uh, after the latest attack and the collapse of the supply chain started uh, dwindling uh, massively. So out of originally 1000 population we are now 550 and it's steep, steeply going down uh, you can see that also there is a huge mess problem and uh, rats everywhere and that is causing a bubonic plague so if we don't do anything fast another 200 to 300 citizens will probably die very quickly so now the challenge is to uh, save this town, rebuild it and hopefully reach at least 1000 population. The limit on population uh, has been removed in the latest version as well. So we could theoretically reach more, but I think the, the main goal is going back to uh, 1000 population. Now, I won't lie, I've tried before uh, at least a couple of times and I failed uh, miserably. Uh, the trouble is, even though I mark some trees for cutting and uh, mark it as a priority, it'll take extra two or three months before the workers even start working on it. And in the meantime, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll lose... Uh, majority of the population so the sort of shortest goal now is to maintain population above 300 if it drops below 300 then it's a lost game uh, it would take huge amount of time to then rebuild everything 
uh, obviously small villages and towns can wo- uh, work well and function well and uh, then um, sort of gradually expand but the trouble in here is that we've got such a big town with such huge distances distances between places that uh, if it drops below 300 if the population drops below 300 it's almost impossible to uh, maintain uh, let's have a look at uh, our starting point um, we can uh, we can start with the money so uh, the town doesn't have enough money in coffers but what we'll do there is actually some hidden cash hidden gold here in the trading center so I'll, I'll transfer some of the money to the town store straight away so that will be our first thing then uh, let's have a look at stock uh, and uh, see what's our starting position in terms of raw materials it looks really good apart from the wood situation the rest is fine we've got a huge amount of grain and we'll try to leverage that uh, we also have a lot of iron ore and decent amount of coal as well uh, next food situation is quite critical uh, it won't even last a month and then people will start uh, starving and that will uh, add to the already bad situation with illnesses and so on so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on the food supply chain as well then produced materials a uh, critical one in here is the firewood that is actually required for bakeries and uh, so uh, lack of firewood will af actually affect food production so that's all connected to the uh, wood situation uh, next usable items we've got plenty of weapons we've got plenty of armor a uh, decent amount of clothes uh, how however uh, we lack uh, shoes uh, coats and tools I, I guess those are the most critical since the last version you can also produce books uh, but uh, at the moment that's not actually that critical now let's have a look at uh, happiness so obviously zero from food uh, this uh, metric health I don't think that is working correctly because we've got uh, one third to one half of population ill so don't understand how come the health can be 100% but maybe it's just a bug in the latest version uh, shoes only one quarter of the population uh, uh, has got shoes clothes are fine cleanliness really bad uh, I think most of the waste collectors are uh, dead or not working so we'll have to sort that very quickly uh, also just to reduce the bu bubonic plague and so on and so on uh, so we'll try to work on that uh, beer is fine entertainment is fine luxury is fine spirituality that's a new metric uh, I won't be worrying about that uh, one uh, that much yet but maybe later on we'll have to have a look at that and improve it so the food is absolutely critical at the moment okay so let's before we start playing one more thing let's have a look at all the professions and uh, this is uh, uh, part of the challenge uh, will be uh, to keep uh, actually some of the laborers healthy laborers still working so this auto refill professions function wasn't available uh, in the previous versions of the game uh, it would actually help with the survival a bit survival ability of the town it would uh, do much better uh, 
but uh, at the moment it actually works uh, against the town because we have zero laborers and that means that there'll be no logistics uh, I, I won't be able to cut extra trees and so on and so on so I'll, I'll disable this auto refill profession function and we'll go through the stuff uh, through the professions that we want immediately uh, require so first of all I'm gonna uh, decrease the number of builders and that is because we don't have enough planks anyway uh, we don't have enough building material to maintain all the buildings so um, there is no point of having that many uh, builders uh, next we'll get rid of all the guards and all the soldiers and that's because in winter uh, there is no uh, risk of the raiders or invading armies however in spring I'll have to get some guards and soldiers back uh, as a priority otherwise there could be a raid or an invading army and just deal the final blow to the town so in spring I'll have to uh, think about that uh, next let's let's have a look at all the columns we'll start with the left column and then we'll go profession by profession so brick maker yes please we need some of those uh, just to keep uh, uh, at least uh, some brick production so that we can repair existing buildings uh, charcoal makers no we don't need any of those uh, firewood splitters we need some but not that many because we don't have any logs anyway so I'll keep roughly four out of twelve uh, and uh, yeah we'll, we'll see if we manage to get some logs then I'll increase the number of firewood splitters as I said the firewood is required for bakeries uh, uh, so that's critical to fix that supply chain issue uh, foundry men uh, I'll, I'll probably keep half of them working and I'll make sure they produce only iron no gold pure iron for both uh, smelteries okay next uh, next we have millers and yes I'll probably keep some of them working uh, just to make sure we don't uh, run out of flour I'll maybe even keep all of them working actually because I've got a feeling that some of the mills are uh, condemned meaning in disrepair not working and therefore uh, if we manage to get the bakeries up uh, we might run out of flour pretty quickly now miners I'll get rid of all of them the town has got plenty of stock of the mined resources, mined materials, so uh, we'll have to survive a little bit without uh, mining. Sawyers, yeah we need some, but again we don't have any wood logs, so I'll decrease the number to about half. Work camps, yes, we need all of the work camps uh, operational. And I need to make sure they've got some wood uh, assigned in the work area. So retarget the wood area here and we'll switch to trees only. We have some stone in production, sorry in, in stock so we don't need to produce more, at least not at the moment. okay so that was the second one then there's the third one we're almost there uh, 
Okay, let's uh, again switch purely to log production for now. And then the last one is here. And yeah, again, I've got four workers assigned. Good. So that was the uh, work camp. Now we can't actually assign any healers and uh, that is because the hospital or at least both hospitals that I've got here are condemned and um, that's sort of another uh, crucial thing because without hospitals the, the illnesses and diseases will spread and a lot of citizens will die very quickly and uh, as I said in the last couple of tries that I had when I failed I couldn't get the uh, wood industry up and running uh, I couldn't cut the trees quickly enough and produce planks and it took way, way long, too long to uh, rebuild the hospital and it was already too late. I was way below 300 uh, population. So um, I'm actually going to try something different. Uh, I'll try to salvage as many buildings as possible to get some building material and hopefully within roughly two months uh, I'll, I'll attempt to fix one of the hospitals. I'll mark it for immediate repairs and uh, then I'll salvage as many condemned buildings as possible. They are of no value to us anyway. Oh, this one is actually okay still. Let me have a look. This one. Yeah. And I know we'll need a lot of um, resources. I'm actually thinking that we'll get rid of one of the hospitals. Uh, no, I'll, 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 I'll keep it. We'll see. Let me have a look if there is actually any more big buildings uh, or manors uh, that are in this repair. There is a homestead here. There are some industries here. We were building that's. I'll get rid of. Oh no. Keep that, I'll repair it later. Okay, what, what I'll do, I'll actually mark some of these as uh, pr prioritized so that they get done quickly. Okay, hopefully there's one more here. One more here. And there. I 
Yeah, there's no need to keep these for now. They won't give us any useful function. Okay. So that should be as soon as we manage to repair one hospital. Uh, we'll be able to uh, assign the healers. Now, night song collectors, we need all of them and all of them healthy just to start dealing with the waste problem. Uh, I'll probably keep the priests just to get the happiness up a little bit. Uh, publicans, I'll probably keep just one. Rat catchers, yes, we need all of them. And uh, the m at the moment when the new month kicks in, uh, we'll probably have even more rat catchers uh, when we can actually afford to pay them. Uh, now, teachers, no, we don't need them at the moment. Uh, traders, no, we don't need them in winter. And Wayne rides. Yes, we need about at least half uh, just to get some uh, logistics from the work camps. So next, arborists. No, we don't need them in winter, but we'll have to. We should assign a couple of them in spring. Bakers. Now, those are quite important, but again, uh, we'll soon uh, run out of firewood and therefore we don't need that many i'll keep eight out of 18. Uh, cheese makers yes please farmers no but i'll assign some in spring we'll try to survive one year without any uh, sort of farming production uh, fishermen uh, no because there's no fish in a range anyway in any of my uh, fishermen's fishermen now uh, foragers no not at the moment but we'll need some in spring uh, grocers yes herders yes all of them please we'll have to we'll try to keep the stock uh, healthy as much as possible hunters yes we need all hunters preservists no we've got nothing to preserve anyway smokers um, probably not at the moment they would only take away the firewood which could be used for baking so we're on the third uh, column so armorers no we don't need those basket makers i'll probably keep two of them uh, operational uh, just to improve the um, uh, efficiency of my workers blacksmiths okay so now that's gonna be interesting we'll probably keep eight of them working out of 24 and now if we have a look where we have our blacksmiths uh, okay, so we don't need any heavy weapons. Okay, yeah. Now, what's next? Uh, brewers. I'll keep probably two of them working so that we still have a little bit of beer left. Uh, Chandlers, uh, I'll keep two of them working, but that's not really required at the moment. I think uh, candles are uh, just a luxury item. Not sure whether they would help in winter. I don't think so. Cobblers, yes, those are extremely important. Coopers, not at the moment. We don't have any planks left, so uh, they would have no material anyway. Fletchers, no. Furniture makers, no. Glass makers, no. 
potters. I'll, I think we'll keep a couple of them working. Uh, soap makers, yes please, probably all of them. Uh, tanners, about half, just to produce some coats. And the weavers, no, we don't need those at all. So I think we are ready to start. So that was a long intro, wasn't it? Um, we have roughly 110 healthy laborers and uh, some critical professions are assigned. I think we can go. I'll double check. I'll, I'll actually mark uh, all of these for harvest and as a priority. But as I said, it, it will take time before the laborers actually come here and start chopping down the trees. And this one as well. And uh, where else could we actually cut something down in this area, I think. I'm looking for the areas that are closest to the town or close to the industries. Yeah, that looks good. I'll again assign some as a priority. And we'll see if they actually get, if and when uh, will they get cut down. Right, so let's start the game. I'll start slowly just in case I uh, remember anything that needs to be done. But uh, I presume that most of the citizens will actually just try to get uh, to their newly assigned positions. And you can see that the great dying has already started. So three villagers have died, but I think this winter will lose at least 100, maybe even 200 more. Just keep checking here in the left corner how, how it's rising. So w what am I uh, looking for? Just making sure that these buildings are getting deconstructed and we get resources from them. Uh, once the resources are freed up, uh, I hope I'll be able to repair the hospital as quickly as possible. Now let me have a look then. Bakeries uh, not producing no firewood. I'll be reassigning healthy laborers to the uh, to the professions. can see that the disease is spreading very quickly. Can't even click quickly enough and then we are actually on half the speed of gameplay. So 17 villagers have died already. Now that's the first uh, building deconstructed, so that's good. I hope they'll take the resources and put them into the hospital. Uh, no change in villager happiness. So let's speed up the game to normal speed and see if anything changes. Well, I'll ha have a look at the... you can see that no one is cutting down the trees. It really takes about two months before anyone even shows up here. We 
we still have about 100 healthy laborers which is pretty good oh uh, well not now that actually changed it's less than 100 now is the deconstruction of the other houses it started here but stopped I'll actually assign more as a priority in this area Yeah, I don't think it it's working because the resources are lying here. Uh, you can see 40 villagers have died already. And that's the year 217. even keep up with tidying up this mess so what what we are waiting now is uh, the arrival of the first merchant and we'll see if uh, if it saves us or at least helps us in s some way You can see the cough is coming from everywhere. And people dying everywhere. I'll pause the game for a moment. Because I just remembered there's one thing that we'll have to sort as well. Uh, I think most of the graveyards are full. So what I'll do, I'll start building a, a new uh, graveyard, at least a small one. Oh, here we go. And now... Well, well, we'll wait maybe one more month and then I'll have to reassign some of the uh, farmers, uh, the arborists and uh, some, well, I'll actually uh, add a forager here in this area. We've got a huge amount of berries and in this area as well. That should help us uh, with um, with some food production early on. Now let me have a look what else. Well, we are very close to producing enough. But so far we've had more consumption than production. Now let me finish clicking this up. Night Soul Collectors. Wayne Wright, work camps, Sawyers, Foundryman, Brickmakers, Grocers. Yeah, everyone is getting ill way too quickly. Diseases are spreading. Okay, so the white uh, professions are fully 
filled so soap makers, cobblers, hunters, herders, grocers, rat catchers, night soul collectors, work camps, millers, brick makers. And we have almost every, all the laborers uh, ill. There is only how many? Five healthy? Four. Hmm, that's not good. Okay, but there's at least someone is taking the resources to the hospital. Two hundred and sixty-eight smallpox and typhoid are the most common diseases now. I won't be assigning more healthy people because we really need some workers. Okay, that's the fir first merchant arriving. Still not baking anything. No firewood here in stock. Okay, I'll pause the game. We have the first merchant, so let's see what did the merchant bring. So we can actually buy some wood even though it's expensive. I think this might be worth it. So first of all I'll buy at least 100 wood. That might be a light save, uh, a life uh, saver. Then he's got some meat as well, which might be handy. No, and he's uh, buying clothes actually for above average price, so this is extremely lucky. Uh, okay. So I'll transfer some clothes for selling and that means I don't have to worry about the prices. Um, I'll actually buy uh, just quick boost of meat as well and some medicine that will be handy as soon as we have the uh, Hospital operational. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure I've got enough in in town because I'll have to assign some uh, some soldiers soon. We are already down to 380 citizens, 90 villagers have died already, 94, 95. But now let, let me have a look, we actually need a bit more firewood splitters, because we actually finally have some logs. I'll, I'll I'll let uh, all the foundry men go and all the blacksmiths as well. 
temporarily they are not that required. So we've got about 30, less than 30 healthy laborers available. Now about the defense, yeah, in, in about a month we might already have a uh, first uh, raid or invading army so I'll start filling up some of the most uh, critical places towers and forts because uh, everything will take time can't afford any more at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the... Okay, we can already sell. So, instead I'll buy more... Meat and... The rest of the medicine. further 100 of uh, logs and again make sure we've got plenty of coin in town coffers So 350 citizens remaining and we still have 190 of them ill. That doesn't look good. Uh, How is the situation with hospital? Still marked for repairs but we've got uh, pieces of wood planks lying around not being used. to assign even more uh, uh, soldiers Okay, so then we've got some livestock born. Uh, let me have a look at the food situation. I'll have to buy even more uh, food. So I'll sell the rest of the clothes. I think I'll end up eventually buying most of his meat. Tempted to buy some soap, uh, even though it's so expensive. But we'll see. There's a second merchant coming. 
I'll see. Now 330 citizens and the hospital hasn't been uh, repaired yet. And 26 citizens. It's going down too, way too quickly. And I've got a feeling that soon we'll have uh, uh, the invading army or raiders coming. Now, let me see if I've got any sawyers. Two of them working, so I'll put six. I've got about 30 healthy laborers available. Now, I pause the game. Let's have a look at the trader, the second merchant arriving. She's buying pelts, but I'm not selling uh, candles and so on. Now she's got some fish and uh, it's actually a little bit cheaper than uh, than the meat. Yes, I think I'll buy 200 of those. And yeah, she's got some tools, but I've got some in stock. Okay. So I'll probably keep buying meat just because this guy can buy um, clothes from me. could actually sell some candles to her if I buy it from the other no no the other trader doesn't offer candles he offers uh, soap and tallow and she buys soap for 14 He's uh, selling soap for 13. I could make some money here, but yeah, it's just 50. It's not worth the hassle. Okay, I'll make sure I've got again plenty in town coffers. And uh, sell as much to him as possible log situation is seems to be okay i should be able to produce eventually enough firewood and planks let's continue now i'm more worried about the uh, raid that is coming or at least i think it is coming i'll see <coughs> What's the situation with the bloody hospital? How come it's not uh, fixed yet? It's one, two, three, four, five buildings deconstructed already. Six actually. Seven. 
eight and it's still not fixed and in the meantime the villagers are, are dying now food situation is the are the foragers already producing something just willow and not berries so hopefully that will improve ah hold on we've got the raiders coming in where are they coming in all right this area so we'll get two more no available workers okay they have any oh, 68 is attacking I wonder if they have any rams so will I be able to get enough uh, soldiers in time before they arrive here it's quite a distance This graveyard is almost full and uh, I e haven't even started constructing this one yet and the hospital is still not operational what are the sawyers doing we have plenty of logs now okay so it looks like most of them are very low equipped raiders try to get even more and some in the town just in case they get through rapidly running out of logs again only 307 citizens remaining the hospital is still not up 